sometimes less is more. Taking notes is a super variable experience for every single person. Everyone has a way that works best for them. And if you found a way that works best for you, you should by all means definitely follow it. Hey guys, it's Shrieker with My Life Mastery. If you're someone that is kind of having trouble in terms of when studying for the MCAT, how many notes should they take? I really do think sometimes writing less rather than over writing notes is more helpful. Sometimes you're writing pages and pages of notes and you're not really getting anything out of it other than writing the notes down. When you're writing notes, I really think it's helpful to have something that you can look back on clearly and kind of re-jog your memory. And so I really like to pare down my notes to what the main idea is, the central principle is, the main concept that's kind of going to be tested on the MCAT. That to me is more important than all the minute details. You are going to need to know the minute details to some extent in the future, but in terms of starting with a topic, it's always helpful to really focus on the big idea and the main concept that the MCAT is going to be testing. And a tip that I have for taking effective notes 